We are hours away from another milestone in commercial space travel. Billionaire Richard Branson's company Virgin Galactic will send him and three other employees to the edge of space. CBS 2's Mark Strassman reports. I'll be evaluating the customer spaceflight experience. Billionaire Richard Branson has weekend plans. He's going joyriding into space on Sunday morning. You know, government's not that interested in making you or I astronauts um, or people watching this program. And so after a while, we thought, screw it, let's do it. <laughs> Virgin Galactic space approach involves a plane within a plane. Its mothership, VMS Eve, is a twin fuselage aircraft with two pilots. In its middle, the space plane, VSS Unity. At about 45,000 feet, Eve will release Unity. Fire. Fire. The space plane will shoot straight up more than 50 miles to the edge hey. of space. Welcome its space four passengers, Scotland. including Branson, <laughs> will experience <laughs> several minutes of weightlessness. Welcome to the club, astronaut. <laughs> Unity's pilots then will glide everyone back to Earth at Spaceport America, Virgin Galactic's hub. So this is the beginning of the public getting to go to space. I think Scott it's, uh, McLaughlin it's runs this facility. He knows happen. the future of space tourism will also ride on Sunday's flight. We hope for the best, but we've done everything we can to prepare for uh, a bad day, and we, we want Virgin Galactic to succeed. Blue Origin, billionaire Jeff Bezos' space company, will launch their boss to space on July 20th. Branson will beat him there by nine days. Do you see Blue Origin as a competitor? Do you and Bezos bow up when you see each other? <laughs> um, we're both doing something in the same space, but very differently. We may be competing, but we're not really competing for passengers because there'll be plenty of um, people who want to be astronauts who'll sign up to both of us. Mark Strassman, CBS News.